you know, and uh, very expensive to print. Uh, you know, to to get a picture like this printed at a uh, you know downtown uh, uh, printing store, you know, they want a buck a page, you know, for every color picture. So I I had to get a printer and do this myself, and you know, the, the quality is not the best, but I it definitely you know gets the point across, and that's that's all I really want. Uh, the top picture, you know, a typical four-stream, you know, jet. His, his chemicals are probably uh, either mixed in his fuel or he's got sprayers, you know, right by his engines. And at the end of the book, you'll get to see, you know, the spraying mechanism. So, you know, just take my word for it here for a moment. Uh, well, basically, you know, you can, you can tell in these pictures, uh, you know, different types of jets used. Uh... The bottom of 53, uh, look at the cloud cover already laid down. I mean, they, ever how they manipulate these chemicals, you know, they, they've got them charged. They've got them charged to fit the layer in the atmosphere. And these chemicals go, they stay right in that layer. And then, you know, these bad boys come in above that. You know, you and I down below this mess can't see them up there. And then they, they get to do the real damage. I mean, you know, this guy's putting out some great crap out the back of his jet. And, you know, who knows what's in it. You know, who, and I doubt that they even know. You know, they're just getting their paycheck and, you know, they think they're, uh, you know, superior. You know, that they, they're up there and we're down here, you know, and, you know, who knows what they think. Anyway, if you look, you look at the TV screen, it's just like it's getting wider and wider and wider. You know, the aluminum and the titanium dioxides and, you know, the chemicals and, you know, they're painting. They're painting my sky. I mean, it, it is so clear, you know, you've got to realize my sky is man-made, period. God did not make these clouds. Man is making these clouds. They're manipulating the moisture in the air. Park systems and the jets and, you know, all the, the programs, you know, that make up this as a whole, uh, they are able to manipulate the moisture and these chemicals and make them do what they want them to do. Uh, page 54. Uh, kind of a, a really nice picture of the underneath. Now, check this out. Uh, you'll see his four engines. Now, <laughs> this, this is a, such a beautiful picture. Look at the sprayers. Uh, on the left side of the picture, you get to see two sprayers between the engines and then a sprayer on each side of the inner engine. Uh, on the other side of the jet, you get to see a sprayer on each side of the inner engine one in between and two, one on each side of the other engine. I mean, these, <laughs> uh, you've got the blast of the jet and the sprayer right beside it, mixing it at such a high speed. I mean, it's, it's, that picture is worth a million dollars. You know, don't, don't let these people that want to make fun of you, don't, don't let them ever even conceive that you're an idiot. I mean, you, you've got the power here. And this book is so unprofessionally made. I mean, you go on the Internet, and there are people out there that's put a lot of time in websites. I, I know there's books out there. I haven't read them, but there's chemtrail books out there. I don't know what, you know, the authors, who they are, what they're saying. But, you know, there's lots of information out there. You know, you know start looking. You know, take, take this subject serious. Uh... Page 55, uh, you know, look at all the little sheep at the top page. And uh, I think I remember listening on the, the TV station that when you see the sheep within so many hours, you know, it's going to rain, you know, the weather's going to change. And you, you start looking, you know, the sheep were all produced by these jets. You know, the way they've got them charged, they clump together. And then you see your jets come above those and start doing the crisscrosses, and then these clouds all, uh, like, magnetically go together, turn gray, and, you know, bingo. You got rain or snow. That's, uh, the bottom of page 55, you know, look at, look at the, the trails. You know, you, you see nice, fresh trails 
you see the guys doing it and you see the trails just blending into the air in layers I mean you just you, know, you got to thank this guy for these pictures I mean unreal and look at the page of the top page of 56 heavy heavy duty chemicals I mean look at the look at the reds in there you know some of these guys put down collars some of them don't you know there's difference different chemicals they're you know they're manipulating uh, bottom of 56 57 you know just really neat pictures showing you you know guys in action maybe girls too who knows I don't know who they I can just about bet these guys are probably all West Points or, or something similar you know they're they're all lieutenants or you know they're in the upper classes uh, oh, the bare feet on TV. Well, you, you know this was taken by the barefoot herbalist. You know, there's the, there's the proof. Uh, nice, cool spring day. I'm looking up, and, uh, you know, there's eight jets at least, if not more. They're just tearing up my sky. You know, I'm sitting there breathing it in. You know, you know what else can you do? You can't run around. There's no sense in running around with a mask over your mouth because you can't, you can't avoid it. Uh, you know what you do you need to do uh, is explain in the, you know book one and it's going to be explained in a lot of the books to come how to clean the body keep the body clean keep the kidneys clean keep the liver clean I mean the cleaner the body the more of these chemicals we can process and eliminate the poor person that has a body that's accumulating these chemtrail chemicals they're going to be breathed in accumulated into the fat the tissues you know the bones you know it's it's just not a good scenario uh, page 58 again look at the, look at this beautiful picture you've got a jet he's laying his chemicals down he's got one two three four five six seven sprayers Maybe there's an eighth one that we can't see on the outer wing, but you can see these sprayers underneath. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful picture. Just, I just gotta love it. Uh, page 60, official explanation. Uh, this guy that took these really nice pictures, he knew better. You know, he took them for like six. U.S. Navy and authorities in January of 2005. He gave him these pictures uh, and asked him, you know, what, what's going on? Yeah. I uh, copied his uh, his response, and you can read it here. You know, basically, up there's in bare feet again, uh, and you can you can see the checkerboard showing. You know, pretty. It's getting really uh, really a mess up there above me. But anyway, here on fifty or sixteen sixty one contrails. You know, it's all it is contrails. Government going to tell you it's contrails, harmless, nothing but water vapor. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, you know, as I'm looking up, I guess, uh, you know, according to the Canadian officials, uh, it's just all vapor. Uh, all these jets are passengers. Wow, there's just, uh, I just got a lot of people flying above me. And evidently, they don't have anywhere to go because they just keep coming back and uh, playing tic-tac-toe in my sky. Well, you know, I think it's pretty safe to say that uh, I don't believe it. I, I think they're they're full of it. Uh, and the guy taking the pictures, he knew better.